Says he's Chuck Berry. Let me see some ID. Well, all right, then. ID. This license says you're Indian. That pinup make you look like a white man. What the hell are you? Well, I'm a musician, and my name is Chuck Berry. And I can be whatever you need me to be to play in your fine establishment this evening. You part con man, too? Has no power in the world. This means, in the case of an American Negro, born in that glittering republic, and in the moment you are born, since you don't know any better, every stick and stone and every face is white, and since you have not yet seen a mirror, you suppose that you are too. It comes as a great shock, around the age of five or six or seven, to discover the flag to which you have pledged allegiance, <laughs> along with everybody else, has not pledged allegiance to you. It comes as a great shock to discover that Gary Cooper killing off the Indians when you were rooting for Gary Cooper, that the Indians were you, that the Indians were you, that the Indians were you. separate you from your parent and tell you you know you're really from Africa we stole you from Africa and brought you across the sea and brought you to this land that is not yours so your land is actually somewhere over there there's a lot of evidence that is coming up recently that's showing that we was already here <laughs> In order to make us not rebel crazily, they made us think we was from somewhere else. You're saying that there are there are Native Americans that look like they're Africans. Yes. <laughs>
called in earlier. There are land papers before slavery in my people name here. How was it? Because when the Europeans came here, uh, what, what Roger is talking about, we gave a lot of people some spots to settle. But they took those spots and wanted bigger spots. Uh, uh, my people right now, the Shata, they took on the end from our people, I'm talking about the end of the big take, 25 million acres of land by removing my people from here to Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. That was the last of their land, 25 million acres of land. And it was people that looked like me. What Andrew Jackson did was he appointed some Europeans. I want you to know how I'm here, brother. My grandfathers were a generation of, of chiefs. I come from a line of chiefs. I'm from a raw family of chiefs. What the Look at these siblings. Now you can tell they're siblings, but notice the different hair textures. The brothers are wearing wigs. Shocking, I know, right? We didn't know this. That's very clearly a wig. They wore extensions. Look at the baby hair swoop, but you see no part, just like a modern quick weave. Did you know that they use heat and processes very similar to perms, just like the Indians of Hindustan still do to this day? So when we look at these older pictures, we have to apply a modern ideology. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new that's being invented. All these old techniques are very ancient. So our ancestors did use heat to straighten out their curls. Look at this amazing transformation. How do we know? Look at the burn marks on his forehead. You see that? Using the term uh, negro or black for a wide variety of people, uh, other than people from Africa, uh, they apply the term uh, very commonly to the native people of India uh, and to other areas of Southeast Asia. Uh, but uh, when they arrive in Brazil, they also use the term for the native people of Brazil. Uh, they call the Indians of Brazil negros da terra, which means uh, the natives of the land. And uh, then later when they begin uh, bringing people over from Africa, they call them negros da Guiné, uh, black people from Guinea. Uh, this term negro is just used very commonly, interchangeably with Indio.